You're watching CNA Heroes. Here's Lisa Sweet. Welcome to CNA Heroes. I'm Lisa Sweet, co-founder of the National Association of Healthcare Assistants. These days, we don't have to look too far to find nursing assistants going above and beyond. With the COVID-19 pandemic impacting the aged population, nursing homes, assisted living centers, and older people in general have been greatly impacted. CNAs can be found in every setting, at every level of care, doing their best to provide the needed care while keeping themselves and others safe. This is especially true to Kay Byram, CNA. She works seven days a week. She arrives by 6 a.m. at the new Woodland Olney Apartments, an affordable housing complex for seniors in Northampton County, North Carolina. This is a rural area near the Virginia border that has had North Carolina's highest infection rate. Kay, 54 years old, is a certified nursing assistant who provides in-home care, very important care. She bathes them, dresses them, does their cooking and cleaning and shopping, making sure to remind them to take their medications. She has worked in the apartment complex since 2002. The residents feel like extended family. Wearing a homemade cloth mask that she launders each night, Byram walks down the apartment complex's halls. She takes out the tenants' trash and fetches their mail so they don't have to venture from their apartments into the contaminated world beyond. The threat of the virus began to feel real for her and her clients after an outbreak at a nearby assisted living facility. To help keep her tenants safe, Kay brought a whole box of masks from home and passed them out. Each tenant who was interested got two masks. So did the complex manager and even the maintenance man some tenants worry that they're going to offend Kay by wearing a mask, revealing that they see her as somewhat of a threat, a possible carrier for the deadly virus coming into their apartment. Kay doesn't tell them that she originally bought the mask for herself before the virus to filter out the cigarette smoke that used to permeate in tenants' apartments when they were allowed to smoke inside. You see, she has asthma and COPD and conditions like that put her and her clients at elevated risk of complications from COVID-19, the disease caused by the virus. Kay offers reassurance to the tenants, ensuring that she is not offended. You're protecting me and I'm protecting you, she says. On a recent morning, Kay sat down at the table as her client finished the biscuits, sausage, tomato and cheese she had fixed him for breakfast. He had eaten more than usual, which was good, but she knew he had been worried. He had been watching the news constantly and the week before, he even called her to tell her that he was thinking about canceling her contract. You see, he was scared. Have you heard anything about anybody, he asked, searching for information about who had been infected. He's 80 years old, diabetic, and he's fighting kidney cancer. If I get sick, you know what's going to happen, he told Kay. She tried to stay upbeat. She reassured him that she won't come to work if she's feeling sick. Absolutely, she promised him. But he said, if you don't come in, who's going to take care of me, he asked. So many depend on Kay Byron. She is helping many older and frail people remain as independent as possible and as healthy as possible. 
It's not an easy job during normal times, but with COVID-19, Kay's work is even more critical. She takes all precautions for herself and the tenants, so often going above and beyond the job description. This is why Kay Byram is today's CNA hero. Everyone, please join me in recognizing the dedication and the seven day a week commitment of Kay Byram, CNA hero.